Welcome, everyone, and welcome to the, uh, was it sixth round, I believe, or fifth? I didn't, I didn't pay much attention. Anyway, I, I don't either. It's the fifth or sixth or something th round of the ESR ACC GT series. This time, we are at the lovely Spa Francochamp. Um, I am... C'est français, c'est francochamp. Oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Monsieur, omelette du fromage. Um, <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> I am... One of your hosts, the far superior host, Cole, the awesome sauce McCray, and I'm joined by my compatriot and far inferior host. What is your name? Roberto uh, Moreno. Roberto Moreno. Yes, that's that's right. I, it's an inside joke that apparently I didn't get in on. Mike Magus knows. I'm sure he does. Mike Magus knows everything, so that's what happens. Anyway. This is going to be quite an interesting race. I am participating again because the uh, spectator settings were again not set up correctly. That's fine. We get to have some uh, some sexy time looking at the the wonderful last gen V uh, twelve Vantage, which I can't get a good camera angle of right now. So rip. Um, but we have quite uh, we have a little bit of shift in some of our. Uh, in some of our lineup today. Why, why don't you run us through that, Matt? I mean, Roberto? I know uh, Spencer Samios is not participating today. Zach Hemstrom has signed out from the championship due to time constraints with work. And Murray is not competing due to taking a vasectomy a few days ago. Oh my. Wow. Congrats. So yeah, we are missing a few people. No real, no huge switch ups. Uh, Mike Magus does join us today, but so far, but other than that, it's really just the, uh, the same old, same old. Um, and our, uh, our starting order, because the qualifying just ended, uh, we have Christopher Streppen starting at the front in the Bentley Continental. Ricardo Navone, oops, um, Max Simons, there we go. Uh, Jake, uh, so, nope, John Young, Wesley Stokes, Andy Anderson. James Butler, Douglas DeGroat, Mike Magus, Wayne Hutchinson, John Barker, John Pita, uh, Javi P, Car Heroes, who we, we, we actually haven't seen in quite some time, or a couple of rounds. Yeah, Car Heroes has been here, neither has John Barker. Yeah, Toby Howard, and Cole McRae, for some reason. So, yeah, I mean, what's he doing? He's, he's there for emotional support, man, like, it's... Uh, yeah, he's, I, he's there to help out, you know, be the emotional backbone of the series. Anyhow, I'm so mad I'm not. Beating. You uh, you cut out there pretty good, um, Matt. What what would you say? You're not you're mad. You're not gonna be. Yeah, I'm kind of mad. I'm not participating in this race. I love Spa. Yeah, Spa is a pretty good track. Um, you yeah, last time we raced, I was in the rain. And I finished second. Oh, really? Not to Mike Stoffel, because Mike Stoffel crashed out by that point. Oh. Wow. It was Travis Wallace. It was last season. Okay, here is our formation lap. As of, as of course, we have Christopher Shippen on the pole. We're running a different livery today. Spa Rhino. Not familiar with that team, but I... I'm a fan of the neon green on black on maroon. I um, think it's Spa Rene. I don't. No. I don't know. I. You. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, we'll get. Maybe it's German for something. Yeah, Rhein. I don't know. The Rhein, Spa Rhein. So, I appreciate John Barker's um. Uh, what is the word? A commitment to the NSX. He's uh, showing, where is the cameraman going? Uh, He's had a stroke. In any case, I appreciate John Barker's commitment to the NSX. I have to wonder if it was a good choice on this track, though. Spa is a killer on these straights, uh, having several. Well, they're not not all of them are straights, but they might as well be a lot. Even the 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 lowest downforce cars have plenty of downforce to get through all these uh, straights. Oftentimes uh, what's without. What's going on deliveries? Yeah, it looks like that some of the textures haven't loaded correctly. That we were having that problem last time. It's really bizarre because some of them do load correctly. Like we see, you know, the non. What's it called? The non 
ones that are not actual liveries. The custom liveries are loading. The custom liveries aren't loading. Yeah, that looks like it. No, they are loading. Oh, they uh, are loading. That's custom. Oh, the fat, the regular ones aren't loading. Interesting. Ah, uh, such is the quirk of, of uh, sort of course the competizione. We uh, Italian, hundred percent. Italian, for uh, Italian for slightly stupid. Competition. No. Um, any case, we have of course our a couple of battles that are are uh, ESR classic. We have Christopher Streb and Ricardo Navone. Um. In kind of traditional fashion, Mike Simons, or uh, Max. Why did I say Mike? I was looking at Mike Magus's name. <laughs> Mike I, Simons. I definitely know <laughs> Max Simmons' name. Um, it's only the J's I struggle with still. But uh, so yeah, Hemstrom isn't here. Um, but we do see some we do see some strong names up in the field. Max Simmons, as I said. Um, Johnny Young putting up a very good, uh, very good qualifying, qualifying in fourth. Um, it's really interesting this this uh, shakeup we've seen. Uh, Wayne Hudson Hutchison back in tenth. That's that's kind of uncharacteristic for his uh, his caliber. And normally you would expect him to be a little bit higher up. But as is the nature of racing, you know, sometimes you can get lucky, sometimes you can get unlucky. I think there's a solid three pixels on the screen. Three pixels? That's not good. 240p. It, look, it looks fine on my screen. Well, we'll see. Why well, will? He won't. <laughs> um. So yeah, but of there's not too many other really things to note. Um, at least in the lineup. Again, John Barker with the NSX potentially rip there. But we'll see, I suppose. There's certainly time. There's certainly time for uh, mistakes to be made. Mike Magus and the only Lexus in the field. Yeah, he's uh, he's been repping the Lexus rate lately. Um, I think he's. It's a bold choice. I've never driven the Lexus, and I think I made note of that in a couple broadcasts. It can past. be quick. But uh, it's it's up there. Okay. With some of the faster cars in this game. Man, the thing about Spa, a formation lap is a long and <laughs> can take some time to, to get that done. Most tracks is pretty quick, but we are coming up to the start finish momentarily. Well, it's this is, around the corner. It's right? the other one, yeah. yeah. That's one thing I don't For understand. Why is uh, why do they switch that up so much? They just went across the timing line. The other one over here is the start line. But right, but there's a grid at that timing line. So yeah, clearly, except for the F1 race. But why do they start the F1 race there, though? Because F1 is special. Yeah, special ed. All right, we are yep. coming up to the race start line. Oh, you still got a ways to go. I forget how long this, light, this grid is. Two lights, three lights, four lights. Oh, oh is... Oh, did I... I oh, no. Uh oh, why, it didn't... It didn't, uh... It didn't, it didn't put me in the pits. Oh, no. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh my, oh, that is not good. Oh, I'm... Oh boy. I, uh, that's not good at all. Rest in peace, Cole McRae. No kidding, it's just, I, it won't let me go back to the menu, so I can't... Oh, I apologize, I don't know what happened there. Looks like that spectator issue will end up being fatal to some drivers, as it turns out. I don't understand what happened there. It just still says car must be stopped, so I can't, I can't do anything about it. Oh my, this might end up being very bad. Uh oh, stop and go three seconds. I don't, I'm not aware of what to do. Try going back to your car. I can't. It's, uh, if I, okay, if I go to my name, so here we are. It's, uh, there we go. Return to garage, I guess. Uh, I suppose. Can I still watch the race? Yeah, just press F2. Well, that was drive. that was unfortunate. So I didn't drive again. Drive and then F2, I guess. Well, I, I mean, it wasn't my fault, but that that is terrible. I don't know how that happened. Maybe we need we definitely need to have a talk with uh, 
the server manager to see what goes, what uh, if that can be fixed. Because I've been using the same password for uh, Spectre this whole time. Last time it didn't really matter, but it certainly affected people in this race. I think I'm. I think Tavi P might have been taken out. Looks like Doug DeGroat, Jim Parker. <laughs> Might have all been, uh, might have all suffered that. That might be something to have to investigate later. Hobby P, no. Speaking of, so anyway, coming back to the regular programming, so to speak. Chris Dubber Strepin has making, has finished his first lap almost. Um, he has put quite some distance between him and Ricardo. Um, I wonder if that's because the Bentley just happens to have a huge straight line advantage in a lot of these longer tracks. But it could also have something to do with the chaos that unfolded in that first starting incident. <clears throat> Cole McRae, stop and go with 30 seconds. My my real hope is that they don't they don't the race doesn't uh, the or the the yeah the race doesn't decide to the marshals don't decide to kick me because I need to watch the race. So yeah, we see Javi P. Can't tell if there's any damage, but he's definitely got quite some uh, distance behind, a distance in front of him to get to Toby Howard. So something definitely happened to him. Whether or not it was related to the start of the race, I can't say for certain. I saw a Porsche hit you. That could have been Car Heroes. It could have been Car Heroes. Actually, no. I think it. No, it was Car Heroes because Car Heroes is 59 and Butler is 54. Mm. Or it could have been Degroot. Who knows? I was I was likely to say it was Degroot, but um, but Degroot made is uh, still ahead of Heroes. So we'll have to see if uh, damage comes into play there. They weren't going super fast, but why would it start me on the grid but stopped? Oh, it's because I didn't start the formation lap. Interesting. Well, anyway, back to the action. Looks like battle is forming between between uh, James Butler and Wesley Stokes and Max Simmons. Oh, and Johnny Young as well. Verstappen has run away with it. Verstappen is out of here. He's he's checked his he's packed his bags and he's ready to leave. He's bought his airplane ticket. And he's out of here. He's he is out. We'll see if Navone can reel him back in. He's he's gotten about a second I think back, but that's still not enough. At least not yet. No. No, indeed. As we come up to Blanchemont. Have you seen that video of the guy doing commentary during an F1 race, and he just goes, "Meow, meow." Really? I haven't seen that. Is that is that an esports thing? No, it's actually like during the F1 race. A real like F1 guy, race. And he was just going, like when the cars were. Ooh. It was on a helicopter camera. Max Simmons like, makes it past Johnny Young. Oh, Ooh, no. it looks like Johnny was that for It was Wesley Stokes. But oh no. Also in the... the chaos. So if we look at Wesley Stokes, yep, he just got nudged by Johnny Young. And then, oh, hit by James Butler. Looks like Andy I think Anderson. That Wesley actually... cut it a little Ooh. tight. A oh, little Wayne Hutchison with a little Wayne Hutchison stab bump. inside there. Just to make it hurt a little more. As if it didn't hurt enough. Yeah, no kidding. So I we... think that Wesley didn't leave enough room on the inside, and he didn't know Wesley was, or not Wesley, didn't know Johnny Young was right next to him. Yeah, that's certainly a possibility. It, it looked, it was just a nasty. Nasty little uh, section there. I mean, with this, the final chicane, uh, you uh -oh, really can't go two, three die wide. At Eau Rouge? Did did that? Is that true? I was looking at my I timing sheet. I saw somebody. Mm, Maybe sure. not. Well, John Picha is currently in a little battle with Mike Magus and Andy Anderson. Oh come on, Mike! Andy Anderson. Take him. Don't take him, Mike. John, get him. Put, Put him, him in the wall. wall. <laughs> nice. I gotta say, while I originally didn't really like that uh, V8, the new V8 Vantage, I gotta say it's kind of grown on me. It certainly sounds great. Originally, I thought it was a little too, uh, too squinty, but like I said, it's kind of warm. I've kind of warmed up to it. Speaking it of good noises, it sounds amazing. So we are. So we're coming up to campus. It's unfortunate that we can't see the full timetable in addition to this more precise small one. But that's just the nature of the beast, I think. 
Oops. So, Ricardo Navone is still losing time to the leader, Christopher Strippen, but Maximus is also losing time to Navone, so we could see, we could be living in a world where the three podium spots are continually getting farther and farther apart, so we do have an hour race, so this is one of our longer races, um, but that's not to say that it'll be easy for the top three. Because they, they, even on this long track, they have the opportunity to potentially lap people and cause some traffic of their own. So it's it's not it's not free and clear for Christoph, Ricardo, or Max quite yet. But at least for the moment, they are getting some room. As usual, we have mandatory fuel and tire changes halfway through. That's true. So that'll be something interesting that the top three will have to worry about. Where are they going to get out in traffic? Spa doesn't have a particularly... Well, no, Spa does have a very long pit road. Oh, yeah, 100%. So, very, very long. So, that... Even with a, you know, half a lap difference between them and, like, mid-pack, say, they could easily find themselves in traffic uh, if they take their pit stop and there's maybe, say, a battle going on and, you know, they're trying to outpace each other. So, could be something that they have to take into account. Johnny Young... Making some moves on James Butler. Andy Anderson also having a look. Let's go on board. Oh, come on, Anderson. Yeah. Put him on the wall. So they're coming up to Pujol now. Is that how you pronounce that? Pujol? Pujol. 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 C'est français. Alors. Bless you. I always forget that Belgian sounds so much like French sometimes. Well, there's a part of Belgium where they speak French. Spa is in that. Oh, I see. Spa. Spa is only like an hour and a half from the Nürburgring. Really? Wow, you learn some every day. Let me pull up my championship standings here. Um. Uh, race. Oh, maybe I don't have it in my my tablet. Oh, whoa, Johnny Young making the moves on James Butler. I didn't see that happen, but um, not able to have it have it work out quite the way he wants to. Just didn't have the run that he had needed to make that happen. He had quite some speed advantage, but it just wasn't enough. That is. A pretty te luckily spots are very wide there are plenty of overtaking opportunities so if you find yourself under assault from someone who has the ability to get a run out on a corner like like uh, Johnny Young does you got to be uh, prepared to block and perhaps be a little aggressive with that the the slight gap we originally had between Andrew Anderson and Johnny Young has since evaporated looks like that he had to um, oh Butler uh, getting Johnny Young making another overtaking opportunity on Butler. On the outside. On the, chem on the Kemmel straight. Uh, he's not going to have the guts to make it happen. No. Oh, he made it. Nice. So, that is... Oh, here comes oh, Butler. Butler wants it back. We're watching the battle for fourth right now. Actually, let's just go on board Butler. So, if we then go to Bonacam. So as you can see, this battle has, has allowed John Picha to catch up as well. So we're now seeing a four-way battle for fourth. Hell yeah, go Picha. Go Picha indeed. Come up to Stavolo. Yep, Stavolo right, next corner right here. Mm -hmm. So we appears to have seen. Oh, it looks like Pizza fell off. What happened? Or is he just. Uh, so if we go back to our regular camera here. 
So it looks like he had a, a bad second sector. He's a couple of seconds off. Oh, someone's gonna die. Uh, wow. Johnny Young has made a great run on uh, up to the chicane. Don't know how uh, how he made that work out, but it did. That's one thing about those Aston Martins. They are a bit of a wild card. Some people they can are make, pretty quick at spot. Some people can make them really fast on straights. Others seem to have the ability to make them really fast through the corners. It's overall a very balanced platform. Although the Porsche and the McLaren 720S both seem to also share that ability. So it seems to really be up to the driver in this case. Oh, C is going to die in Eau Rouge. Ooh. Radio. James Butler using all of that uh, all of that rumble strip. The Rouge rumble strip can get you a couple extra tenths, but as we can Which see one? here, the Anderson, one at the bottom, the one at the bottom, yeah. yeah. But it's it's very dangerous too. Andrew Anderson making a pass on James Butler as we come up into Lecom. Oh, he's fighting back. Oh nope. Yep, he got the oh, run up. Close the door. The door has been closed by James Butler on Andy Anderson. Meanwhile, quick update of what's going on up top. Christopher Schreppen has extended his lead to 11 seconds. Meanwhile, Ricardo Navone has done likewise with Max Simmons, except for only to about eight seconds. Andrew Anderson giving James Butler a little bit of a nudge, it looked like. Backing off, though. Don't want to have a wreck. John, John Picha has again shored up that gap. So this battle between Butler and Anderson is allowing Johnny Young to get away a little bit, get, get some cushion. He's up to about five seconds up on Wesley Butler. Wesley Stokes up in the 10th place from where he was before when he got into his accident. Yeah, so making up some making up some time. He's now four seconds behind Wayne Hutch Hutchison. Douglas DeGroote, 13th place. John Barker, 14th. So yeah, sure enough, the, uh, the, Ac the Honda NSX is proving to be a little bit troublesome on Spa. You can turn down the arrow, but how how much can you realistically do that before you start losing so losing some of the NSX's signature cornering ability? Um, yeah, I'm not familiar with the uh, the rules for choosing cars in the series, but people have gone back and forth. Andrew Anderson making a pass on James Butler, uh, coming up to the chicane, coming up on the inside of the first half. And wisely, he lets him go through. Yep, let's let's see if uh, and, uh, Butler can get a run off Anderson into the final corner. Doesn't quite look like it, but he's not giving him any room to, to be comfortable. Is he going to dive on the inside? No. He's going to try and set up for Eau Rouge, it looks like. So getting a run. Looks like Anderson had to cut it slightly after getting a little bit squirrely on the exit there. But Anderson is covering his ass very well. Not giving Butler any, any opportunities. Anderson going a little wide on the chicane. Ooh! It looked like they were too wide for a second there, but it looks like Butler let off. So Butler having Anderson's draft. Can he have the run? Doesn't look like it. Staying within fighting range, or within striking range, though. Coming off the Kimmel straight. Although, again, John Picha, Mike Magus, Wayne Hutchison all within a few seconds. So if Butler isn't able to make this uh, happen, if make, he wasn't able to pass... Anderson and get some distance or vice versa we could see a very large battle brewing here within the next couple of minutes and while it is important to maintain position we are still here for 45 more minutes so there's plenty of time for trouble to happen what time did the race start about 2.30 I want to say that sounds right This is really the only battle that appears to be happening that much. We do have Doug DeGroat um, reeling in Toby Howard, but yeah, he already made it past. <clears throat> so this is a this is a big way. This is a big old battle royale for fifth place or fourth place, really. Don't say those words. <laughs> that was a great movie. Okay, it was an all right movie. Okay, it was a mediocre movie. Okay, it was a movie. <laughs> Hey man, the 90, 90s and 80s movies can only be so good, right? Well, Top Gun was great. Yeah, it was. 
Um, are you, are you going to see the uh, new one, Top Gun Maverick? Oh, 100%. Are you going to see it in theaters? Probably. I don't see very many movies in theaters, but I think I actually do want to see that. Top Gun's one of my favorite movies of all time, and I think, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure it needed a sequel, really. I am kind of excited. Apparently, all the flying scenes in it are real, so... Really? So it's so true to the original? Oh yeah, the most expensive prop is the F-14. Wow. Yeah, and you think about it, hundreds of millions of dollars movies are used to spending, or studios are used to spending on movies, but they, uh, a single jet costs well over a hundred million dollars, so they can eat up that budget really quick. But imagine, oh, oh here comes Wesley. Wesley Stokes coming up on uh, Wayne Hutchinson. Let's look at that. We have Kimmel straight. Two cars very good in the straight line. Mercedes AMG GTR GT3 and the uh, Bentley Continental GT3. GTR GT3. Isn't that what it is? Uh, I don't, no, don't think so. The name of the base car is the GTR. Or the GT. No, it's the GT. G the GT, the AMG GT GT3. Okay. Yeah, I think they just call it the AMG GT3. But what about the other GT3s they have? They have more than one. Didn't they have the SLS AMG GT3? Well, that was before, though. I guess they just called this one the AMG GT3. That's that's ignorant. All right, not gonna be inclusive. <laughs> How ironic, considering this is a weeb car. Wait, Wayne, explain yourself. Although it seems you to have. Uh, very comfortably. Oh, Wesley Stokes going very wide on, um, where is that? Pujol? No, that was, uh, uh, let me check. Any case. Um, so they, they are now approaching Blanchemont. Stokes right on Hutchinson's tail, getting that draft. This is a good place to pass, but not a great one. Mike Magus is doing his part to hold Hutchinson up. Oh, it looks like Stokes is going to go oh, around the inside. The oh, as we come into the chicane, a very popular place as ever. Going to make it happen, but can he save it? Looks like Hutchinson is going to try and close the door. Yep, it happened. Stokes wasn't able to get the run, but he does oh, have a little... Alongside. He's still alongside. Taking very different lines. Hutchinson's try, probably going to try to get the crossover. Stokes was able to close the door, though. I don't think he's going to have enough speed, although he is and catching. And now he's going after Mike Magus. So Mike Magus, in that scuffle, has able to get a little bit of a lead, about a second or so. Well, it looks like more than that, though. Oh, Hutchinson going over the uh, inside sausage. So, <clears throat> but Hutchinson isn't letting Stokes get comfortable. They have a little battle going on here. And it looks like the battle for fifth that we had seen earlier has kind of dissolved. Anderson, Butler, Picha, and Young have into all... Into Lake Home. Mm -hmm. Now into Brussels. Let's see, can he get into run into Puel? Jackie X corner. P Puel is one of those corners that I really... I really love. It's just it can make or break a, a, an opportunity on a, an opponent, more so than most of the other corners in this um, track. There are certainly plenty of opportunities. Don't get me wrong, but I would say Pool is, um, or the the Bruxelles is that it? Is um. No, Bruxelles is the one at the top of the hill. With, look, look uh, the one, behind. the one, the one right before Pool. <clears throat> uh, that's uh, Jackie X corner. Jackie and X then corner. Bruxelles is before that. Okay. And Stokes is caught back up to Mike Magus. Now only half a second near enough. Wesley is flying. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Mike Magus actually catching up slightly to John Picha. Now only about a second away. <clears throat> so we are 
beginning to see potentially our battle reemerge. Wesley Stokes right on Magus's tail, not letting him have any room to think. So we, we go on board a little bit. So as you can see, Magus and Peter are both right there, making them well within striking distance, especially with the uh, Bentley Continental GT3 being as fast as it is. Stokes going a little bit wide on um, on the the last turn. So oh, the, Wesley, you <coughs> can go flat through there. He can. Being oh, cutting a little bit. You might get a warning for that. Probably not a penalty though. So as you can see, the Continental just eating up the Alex, the Alexis uh, RCF GD3, but not gonna have quite the room. And unfortunately, the next section is probably where the Bentley's gonna struggle. Taking a very smooth, composed line, maybe a little bit under aggressive. Oh, Mike Magus had a little bit of over aggression there, con uh, conversely. Oh, oh, oh Wesley Stokes Mike might runs Mike Magus off the road. Uh, uh, no, Wayne Hutchison is able to make it by both of them. Let's get back on that. Oh, crap. Uh, yep, so... Well, didn't get to see enough of that as I wanted to, but... That was lame. So, yeah, in, in one fell swoop, Wayne Hutchison gets back not only his position lost to Wesley Stokes, but also the one that Mike Magus had. So Wesley and Mike, Mike is not going to be happy. No, not at all. It looks like Wesley just got a little over aggressive. Maybe I'll probably himself ambitious a, tan, there. a tad, yeah. And with that, our, our uh, closest battle dissolves in a fiery crash. Well, fiery ish crash. That's an interesting point about breaking for Bruxelles. It's um, it's downhill, so especially with the Bentley being more of a straight line speed car, he wants to get that run, but you know you just can't you can't forget to to break and you got to rein it in. So meanwhile, the lead by Christopher Schreppen to Ricardo Navone has leveled off, maintaining relatively even, about 12 seconds, 11 seconds. Meanwhile, Maximins is kind of also leveled off to about the same, 11 and a half. Andrew Anderson appears to have made, a, made good on his, uh, on his start. I believe up to fifth from, what was it? I think it was slightly low, higher than that, or lower. Worse. One of the two. Yeah, take your pick, really. Um, Javi P. Still, still locking it down. I'm kind of, kind of surprised it's not showing us a time gap from him to uh, John Barker. It says he's two laps. I don't, I'm not sure I believe that. I don't know about Cause that I, one. Because I don't think we saw anyone get past, like, a, a back marker, so. Oh, well, we'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. And well, James Butler. Oh, we just saw John Peach in the background there go very wide. Uh, after Pouin. Oh, who's that behind? Is Pizza getting into a battle? Looks like it. Wayne Hutchison making good on his uh, momentum there. Although Wesley Stokes is, looks to be catching up a little bit. So we could be seeing our battle for sixth, or fifth, or seventh, sorry. Let me rematerialize out of the blue here. Wayne, true to form, has had very good pace and has been very clean throughout his... Um, race so far he's gotten also kind of lucky with his um his maneuvers especially with the incident between mike magus and wesley stokes as john comes up to the chicane <clears throat> wayne getting a very just taking a giant chunk out of his lead 
now only a half a second. So Matt, if you had a choice of car GT3 to um, race at Spa, what do you think would be the best choice in your opinion? Uh, I would think the new Audi R8. It seems to be very quick here. Really? Interesting. We don't haven't seen very many R8s at all this entire season. We've had a couple at the beginning. Yeah, boy. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, you were was that it was Catalonia, right? Barcelona. Yep. But I, we haven't seen very many. I think Javi Pierre Torres. Javi Pierre Torres. Holy crap! I don't think I've ever butchered a name that badly. Javier Perez Torres. Um, ha Javier. Um, but he uh, wasn't he wasn't he driving one at one point? I don't think so. I think he's already. I think he was always been in the AMG. I seem to I seem to recall at Nurburgring we had some uh, Audis, but in in any case, it doesn't really matter. So what do, what do the uh, what strengths would you say the R8 has over say? Like, um, example here would be good would be the uh, Porsche. Uh, not a lot of downforce, so it's quick in a straight line. Okay. And it's a good handling car through the corners. Hmm. So it's kind of like the uh, Bentley, except for it has a little more cornering ability. Well, the Bentley has more downforce due to being a front-engine car, and you can have more downforce on a front-engine car. So the Bentley can go flat through Eau Rouge. The Audi can, just with... Gotta be a little cautious. Yeah, you can't really just send it through up, up through Eau Rouge. That's generally a good idea for most uh, cars anyway, but... Hmm. Yeah, I... I haven't raced at Spa very much. Well, I have raced out there a lot, but not in GT3s. Um, I don't think you could handle it. Ah, uh, very funny. I can handle anything I put my mind to. Oh, Peach going deep oh. into bus stop. So yeah. Wayne Hutchison going for his pit stop. Yeah, Wayne. So for Wayne. Strappen also in, and Johnny Young as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we have 10 minutes left in our pit window. So it just started not too long ago, but we do have to be cognizant of that because you know if you don't do it, you will get DQ'd. Thankfully, at the end of the race. So I don't get DQ'd immediately and get kicked from the race. And Cole McRae still has a stop and go of three seconds. Well, luckily, I have zero laps remaining to serve it, and I am not moving, so that timer will never go down. Well, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I do. Carheels, John Barker, and Toby Howard have all taken their pit stops. Mm -hmm. So they are the only ones so far. Christoph has finished, but has yet to leave the pit area, pit lane. So with that, Doug DeGroat finds himself in 11th place, although, ooh, a uh, little lag spike there. Um, wow, we're getting plenty of lag spikes going on. What's going on here? So if we go on board, let's say, moop, my bad. There we go, Wesley Stokes. We so that is 29 minutes, or 30 minutes remaining. So we're halfway through the race. Oh, Wesley Stokes getting a run off of John Picha, very wisely not pursuing it um, as they go into Kempus. Not the world's best op overtaking opportunity while Spa is very wide. I would wait for the bus stop. Yeah. Oh, oh, Picha running very wide on Stavlo. I om if I was Wesley, I would have had serious thoughts about making that pass there, but unfortunately... Oh, there we go. Okay, so Stokes getting a huge run on John Picha. Maybe I want to say Picha let off just to say, hey, I don't want to have any action coming into the bus stop, so, you know, just have it for now. Very clean. Easy peasy. I'll take that. Thank you very much, says Wesley Stokes. So, oops, I meant Wesley Stokes. So, John Picha going for his pit stop. He said, I've had enough. I want to get some fresh, uh, fresh tires on. So as always, here comes the battle of finding who the hell is where 
and who is battling with who as the pits roll in. Mike Magus going for a pit. We haven't uh, checked in on Toby Howard in a while. How's he doing? How's that grape ape running? He's running. Still got 12 seconds back to Javi P, but Javier is catching. So it looks like that two lap timing declaration was indeed an error because he's now no longer two laps back. John Barker is though. Yeah. That's intriguing. Huh, I guess we'll never know. I gotta say, I originally didn't, much like the uh, Aston Martin V8 Vantage itself, I was originally not a huge fan of Toby Howard's Grape Ape with the, the uh, purple exterior and the lime green wheels and uh, features, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. It, it kind of it feels right, you know? Oh, look at all those people going through the long pit lane. Yeah. RIP those people. RIP all those guys. Who is who is that doing that? Uh, if we take a look here. Andrew Anderson. Nabone. Andrew Anderson and the like. So, so Picha Anderson's there. So as Johnny Young and Javi Perez Torres come by, so putting Andrew Anderson in fifth, although fourth and fifth, or sixth, sorry, although Doug DeGroote in fourth and Ricardo Navone in fifth do have to also make their pit stops. I think Navone was in the pits. Well, not according to this, not according to this tool. That's a shame. Yeah, wait, didn't we see Navone in the pits? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Maybe. Uh-oh. Did he not do both? He might have forgotten to do both fuel and tires. That is not good. We'll, we'll, we'll find out what happens. Yeah. So, Max Simmons finds himself in first, first place. Followed somewhat distantly by Wesley Stokes. And, the, ooh, John uh, Barker was uh, involved in a little off there. Let me go back to there. Oh. Doesn't able to go back far enough, but oh well. Luckily, he didn't get passed for position or anything. It's still unfortunate when that happens. So our closest battles here are between Andrew Anderson and Johnny Young. And then that between Mike Magus and John Picha, two cars behind them. But they're still well over two seconds behind each other, so can't really say much there. Do they st is the Alexis RCF still raced in the WEC? You mean Blancpain? Oh, sorry, yeah, that, that's what I meant, Blancpain. Yes, they do. Tech One Racing, the livery that he has, still does it. Hmm. Interesting. I like the Mark VDS uh, Cougar on the side. But, interesting, because the Lexus like RCF GT3 is quite old at this point, isn't it? <laughs> didn't, they, didn't they first come out with that in 2015? Mark VDS? No, 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 no. Uh, the Lexus RCF GD3. 2016, I think. Okay. Still, that's four years at this point. Without a refresh. Well, Wayne Henderson says, Guess my pit crew didn't want to try... Sorry, didn't want to service my car today. No matter what I tried, I put position in the car in the box. The message to kill the engine never came up, and nothing happened. After trying for 20 minutes, he gave up. Oh. Bummer. So, Wesley Stokes... And Mike Magus are now fighting for position. Looks like Stokes was failed to, failed to get a run on Mike, so Mike will take that position from him. That's unfortunate. As with our spectator issues, sometimes this sim is not perfect. 
and sometimes we just gotta deal with that. Looks like we lost someone. We're down to 15 drivers. I'm not sure. Wayne Hutchinson. Oh, Wayne Hutchinson. Oh, okay. Right. He literally just told me that. <laughs> So Matt, would you say that Spa is your one of your favorite tracks? Oh, 100%. I is, love Spa. Is it your favorite track? Your favorite track? Well, not my favorite. It's one of the favorites. Where where would you say it would sit on your uh, your your tier list if you had one? Oh, that's a hard one. There's so many good tracks. I love Bathurst. I love Spa. Suka. Uh, what else? Another one. Uh, another track. CGMP. Oh yeah. Uh, there's Coda. Coda sucks. I mean, well, it's a track. <laughs> you said what's another one? I said. Uh, I meant Laguna good Seca. Tracks. Okay, Sonoma. Laguna Seca is just sort of eh. It's what? Kind of boring. Laguna Seca is the best. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's um, Daytona. Uh. Sebring is great. Sebring's good. Long Island. Was there last Long year? Long Beach, I mean. Long Island. Long Island. Long Beach. <laughs> no, no, no. Long Island. Oh, John Peach getting out of shape, possibly? Oh, yeah. Yep. Mike Magus slowed up. Let's see if Wesley can capitalize on this through Eau Rouge. And Radial. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Ooh, what happened there? Let's see. Oh, that one. Mike Magus. For that. Yeah. Let's let's see what happened to Mike Magus here. So just looks like he got unstable through a rouge and had to cut it a little bit and uh, scrub some speed. So Wesley Stokes was able to take that from him pretty easily. I'm surprised Wesley didn't get some sort of penalty from that. He went all the way out of track. Yeah, it is, it's Long Beach, not Long Island. Get the heck out of here. I know what I'm talking about in this specific instance. No, 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 it's Long Island. That's an alcoholic beverage. That's a Long Island iced tea. They taste kind of gross. They're not great. It's like everything. Yeah, I mean, people normally just drink those if they want to get super smashed, but... I, I tried one once. I don't like the taste. I mean, they're worse things, I'll be honest. I, I really don't like Bloody Marys. But, um... Long Island's still not up there. What's your go-to summer drink, Matt? I mean, uh, Ramon, or whatever. Roberto. Roberto. Oh boy, Roberto. What do you call an Argentinian with a... I'm glad I didn't get to hear the rest of that question. <laughs> what do I call an Argentinian what? With a rubber toe. What? Roberto. No way. I had no clue. <laughs> Shut up. That was good. <laughs> God. The jokes with Matt, everyone. Jokes with Matt. Oh my god, I, just, I can feel the subscribers leaving. Meanwhile, Wesley Stokes has made up his way to John Picha coming through Eau Rouge. So Mike Magus really fell off a hill there. I'm not entirely sure what happened. When he uh, last came through Eau Rouge, it looked like it just really must have razzled him or something. Meanwhile, Stokes is making up considerable ground on Picha. The English cars are having a nice little battle here. It's too bad it's not the Battle of Britain. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have a battle in your own country. You'll have a battle in someone else's country. So when it gets smashed up, you don't have to worry about it. Exactly. It didn't really work 100%.
Yeah. I think they did that in World War One. It wasn't wasn't great. Stokes. World War Two. This Battle of Britain. Yeah. Stokes hanging on to Peach's coat trails, coat tails. It'd be interesting to see how Mike Magus holds the holds on. Um, he's currently three seconds behind. We'll have to see if he's still losing time or if he starts getting some of it back. Because um, John Peach has proven to be a competent blocker. He's been able to, that Aston Martin is very wide already, but he's able to make it even wider. Although Stokes looks like he's getting a speed advantage on Picha oh, as they come into Blanchemont. Uh, they're going around the outside of Blanchemont. Having Peach to go the long through. way around, Picha let him through, it looks like. Yeah, I think he did. Smart choice, but uh, definitely the less entertaining one. So oh, he should have sent it around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Round the outside. Pick, 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 pick. Guess oh who's God, back? Please don't become Eminem. Wesley Stokes. Guess who's back? To back again. again. Stokes is back. Tell your friends. Guess who's back? Guess, Guess who's, who's back? back? Guess who's Guess back? Guess who's back? <laughs> So yeah, our, uh, we find ourselves again without too many intense battles. Our album's coming out later this year. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fire. Um, you should follow my SoundCloud. Um, we're doing a we're doing a concert with uh, we're opening for Death Grips later. It'll be great. Playing at the uh, the Showbox what is in, Death Grips? in Seattle, Washington. It's a garbage band. Um, that makes sense. They uh they do like it's like super indie rap, but it's it's totally atonal, and they have like just random sound effects playing. I don't I hate it, but I know there are Gross. some people who really like it. It's kind of like grunge, garage rap almost. It's it's definitely fun to listen to when you're high though. <laughs> so there's that. It's always got that going for it. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, especially, but if you do, listen to Death Grips while you do it. Although, if you're Canadian, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Canadians it's... are always on drugs. Well, it's legal anyway. Is it? Yep. Like, like what kind of drugs? Weed. Just weed? Well. That's making its way through the United States, too, though. Like, the. A few times. We have a little bit. Uh, we, we, have, we have like six or Washington? seven states. Yeah, Oregon is. Was what was? It? I don't think was it New York. Colorado. Also? Colorado definitely. I don't. I personally. I mean, I'm not. I'm not super into drugs. Make no mistake. But I don't see why. Um, ooh, Andrew Anderson's making up some time on Johnny Young. I'm sorry, but I I don't see why drugs are illegal. Like, what's the uh, what's the big deal? Well, there is black tar heroin. That's true, but I, I still don't see what why why and is cocaine. it I don't see why it's illegal though. Why why is it illegal? Uh, people are a little off when they're on it. Yeah, but they're on it anyway, even without like freaking. Do you think the law is stopping anyone? Some I would argue. People. I would argue that the law is. I'd argue that the law is like really in it's encouraging the you know like the drug trade and stuff because you know it's like a first of all it's because it's you know so tab or it's so against the rules you can they can charge huge prices for it and make these giant drug empires and second of all because it's not controlled like you know they can lace it whatever with whatever they want and you know i'm not saying that black tar heroin would ever be like good for you per se you know it could definitely oh i love it it could be it, you know it could be safer you know, I mean, like, uh, recreational marijuana has gotten, like, a lot. The quality has gone way up after they, um, uh, you know, they, they legalized it. So, not saying, I'm just, that's, my, just my opinion. I don't know why, 
But the big deal with drugs being legal. Hashtag legalize it. Hashtag legalize medical heroin. Shout out to. Hashtag legalize fentanyl. Legalize fentanyl. Hashtag legalize diesel. I'm gonna inject. It is some, legal. I'm gonna inject some diesel. Inject some hundred octane race fuel. No, nah, dude, that's just expensive. I can't afford that. You can afford diesel? Yeah, diesel's like three dollars a gallon. I don't know what that is. It's, I, what? Oh yeah, you we guys use liters. <sighs> a gallon, a gallon is like three point five liters. We use liters. the metric system. It's like three dollar. It's like a dollar per liter. I think. That's less than gas where I am. Yeah. Hey Google. What is one gallon in liters? You hear that? 3.785 liters. So, yeah, that it's, it's, was pretty close. Wow. Look at you, Google, Cole, with your oh. Google Home. Oh, yeah, I can know stuff. Nah, Google Home knows it, you don't. <laughs> hey, I guessed it before I told it, or I asked it for it, and it was I was spot on. We'll see what the people think. See what the no, it's not what the people think. It was 100% me. Get the hell out of here, R Roberto. For those who are wondering, my name is Roberto Moreno. Yeah, we had an introduction. Like, are you? Well, some people might have missed it. Well, then they don't deserve to watch the race. You guys can unsub right now. Please don't. Except, please don't. Yeah. Oh, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. Because our commenters are quality, and how will <laughs> how will we learn to make money if we don't get subs? Please, I we, we need demonetized. we need more ad revenue. No, YouTube is the best. Hey, Google overlords. Hey, yes, that's you. I love you. <laughs> Google oh. Home answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It did. I, it was uh, it's it's going off on some 2018 blah blah blah. I don't know, but. Oh, hey, look, there's a race going on. Andrew Anderson is right behind Johnny Young, just like he was for the last 20 hours. One thing I really wish like these smart home devices had was the ability to switch them off, like, internally. So, you know, if you could just say, okay, you know, can please hey, turn Alexa. off. I'm on I'm on headphones, so that shit doesn't work on me. Also, I'm a Goog man. Oh, you're a Goog man? Yeah. You have an Android? Yeah, dude. Wait. Oh, I didn't know you were disabled. Oh, I didn't know you were a douche. Freaking, <laughs> they don't make an Amazon phone, douche. <laughs> they probably do, don't they? They do, but you don't have one, because it would be Android. I don't, I don't, li I don't use Amazon. I'm more of an Apple person. Yeah, I know, you douche. I have a Dell laptop, though. A Dell I laptop? Can't a, you I can't afford one. This, uh, oh, I'm more of an Apple guy. Hashtag uses a Dell laptop. Andrew Anderson making it fast on the camel straight on John Young. Julio Young. Mom. What did I tell you about mispronouncing my friend's names? Sorry, Julio. <laughs> I'm not Julio. Sorry, Julio McRae. Fuck you. <laughs> Lightly, though. I want you to feel it. Anyway. Um, oh, oh, Andy poor. Anderson <laughs> made a good pass on Johnny Young. <laughs> and uh, there's, like, race there's cars. There's a race on. Hey, look. Wow, I blinked and I, and I missed it. So that'll put Andy Anderson into fourth place. Yeah, indeed, it looks like Ricardo Navone was not able to complete his pit stop. So regardless of the circumstance, he won't be having a second. So we can shift everyone up one place. Meanwhile, Mike Mag is still fighting with uh, with John Picha, not having made too much progress or lost any. So that's good. As they come in, they uh, exit the X corner and come up to Pouillon. Oh, actually, Mike is making a little bit of time. Now down to 1.1. Wait, whoop. Yeah, 1.7, my bad. 
seconds. So Matt, you, why why do you like iPhone? He's speechless. I knew it. What we're really hearing is is Matt. Higgs. I'm here. A con he's he's contemplating his options and realizing, man, hey, maybe iPhone up. does suck. Shut up. See, now he's in denial. That's the, what the third stage, second stage. No, it's. No, that's the first stage. Denial, and then, what, bargaining? I don't know the stages of... Bargaining? No, bargaining oh, is Michael a Michael Mangus on John Picha? Oh, yeah. Well, I had an iPhone, or not an iPhone, an I iPod back in the day, and I mm -hmm. just felt it would be more user-friendly and easier to learn if I had an iPhone. So, wait, you mean an iPod Touch, then? Oh, yeah, iPod Touch. Okay, I thought you meant, like, an iPod Nano. Oh it. no, that's not oh, God, relevant. No. <laughs> hey, don't talk shit about the iPod Nano. That was those are great. Do you have one? I still I do. I have one right in front of me actually. It's oh a, God. It's a it's a fifth gen, so it's the last of the really tall ones. Has a camera. I'm oh, sorry, it's a sixth gen. Has a camera. Got FM radio. Wow, FM radio. Dude, the only iPod to ever have FM radio. Wow. I mean, I never used it, but I could have. <laughs> oh, Mike Maggot's going a little wide as they come out to Bruxelles. Looks like it didn't really affect him, though. Am I thunder breaking? Not really so much. Nah, man, I had three iPods. I had the, uh, I had, my first iPod was an iPod Shuffle back in, like, 2001. It was that shitty little white, basically, flash drive with a headphone jack in it that had, like, 256 megabytes of memory on it so just enough for like half a song and then um i upgraded to a third gen nano which was like back when they were starting to become popular and that was good and then i went and i lost that one in vancouver bc one time and so uh i got a <laughs> i got a sixth gen nano definitely definitely the best iPod. I also ended up getting a, uh, like a 120 gig iPod Classic with the hard drive in it. Um, or was it a 200 gig? I don't remember. But that one was a piece of junk. It loaded. I, it wasn't even old. I got it new, but it was so slow. It took so long to load stuff. And, uh, I had an iPod 3. iPod 3? iPod Touch 3. Oh, okay. Well, Third gen. Right. It was the one before the camera. I never had an iPod Touch. I wanted one for so long, but then I realized, but the, right at that point was when Android iPod Touch ripoffs were coming out. And I guess that, really, that's kind of appropriate because it, uh, oh, it looks like Johnny Young got a drive through penalty. Oh, so that's going to uh, sort of, that's going to seal his fate. Yeah, that's what DT stands for. Oh, I went, oh, I thought, I was looking at the bottom, I'm like, I still see the stop and go. <laughs> yep. I'm still penalized. Um, I actually think about it. That's like the uh, the real divergent point for uh, for me with Android, as it was for you with uh, iPo uh, iOS. Because like I got I got an an Arcos, uh, Android, basically Android iPod Nano or iPod, iPod Touch, and I loved it. Um, it was a piece of junk in retrospect, but it was way better than my other iPod. And you got the iPod Touch 3G, and life goes on. And then I, after that, I, I, I broke it. No way. And then I got my iPod, I, iPhone 4 was my first phone. My actually my second. Dude, phone. shout my out. First phone was an LG Kibo 2. Ooh, shout out to the iPhone 4S. Probably the best iPhone. Me, well, actually <laughs> probably iPhone. iPhone 10. No, get the hell out of here with that crap. I just don't like why are they why are phones so huge? Because they want i they want iPads in their pockets. 
Yeah, but like I have a relatively small phone, and it's still it's still like five and a quarter inches screen diameter or screen uh, uh, diagonal. And uh, are you sure it's your phone that's that size? Yeah, look, I have it sitting right in front of me. I have some calipers. Here, I'm getting the calip getting the calipers out. Oh, he's getting the Vernier calipers out. Yep, got my Mutoyos right here. Oh, I love these things. They never need to be recentered or reset. Okay, so I got my phone. It, it, it's hard to measure, watch a race, and um, hold my phone at the same time. So Put your it, phone on your desk. It is 138 millimeter. Get the hell out of these millimeters. So five. Ah, yes, millimeters. So five I love millimeters. Five it's superior. Five point three inches. Five point four. Mega still can't get past John Picha. Yeah. And he's running out of time. Only got about a lap. Oh, two laps left. Because they were running about two twenty twos. So, dude, Johnny Young's gonna have to serve this drive through. Is he doing that? Oh, it looks like he is. He's in the pits. Yeah, so. Oh, Douglas DeGroten hasn't taken his pit stop. That'll be a DQ for him, I Neither believe. Neither has Ricardo <laughs> Navone. Yep, we, I mentioned that earlier. That's going to be... So he's, everyone's going to be shifted up. up. Oh, actually, we're seeing a little bit of a... Maybe a battle between uh, Toby Howard and John Barker. Let's see if we can get some eyes on that. We will. I just want to make sure we don't miss anything between Magus and Young. After they after they exit Bruxelles, I'll probably switch off. Oh, did did Barker spin? Now, now it says he's a minute behind Toby. So Toby is just coming on to. Um, where is this? Is that Pouin? No. Oh, that's Blanchemont. So, if we look at Barker. Yeah, he's just exiting Bruxelles. So, I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Anyway, back to the actual battle. The world goes on. Life goes on. Egg. Egg. Come so far and got so long. <laughs> I come so far and got so hard. <laughs> In the end. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It doesn't even. It doesn't matter. even matter. It just got this boner. <laughs> dude, that, that. Oh yeah, there's a car race on. That brings a whole new meaning to the music video. Um, John Picha. Shut up. John Picha getting hunted down by Mike Magus. Dude, that was nice. <laughs> not, not too many, uh, um, well, I guess mix ups like that end up being. Oh! Oh, Mike Magus! Mike Magus getting real aggressive on the brakes. Ugh, oh, Michael. Looks like uh, it ends up costing him a little bit of time, though. So, yes, here we are. I believe this will be the last lap. So they see Christopher Streppen. Yep, just now coming up to bus stop. So he will finish the race right here. Mm -hmm. So Mike Magus has one lap to make his move. Leader has finished the race. Leader has finished the race. Oh, no! Don't be frozen. No. What do you know? Okay. All right. Oh, oh, Mike, Mike Magus. Magus what happened himself. there? We need to see that again. I mean, if, if, are, are, are we going to see that again? I clicked the button. All right. It's going to show you after it. Yeah, um, that'll be great. Oh, no. Cole McRae, you've broken it. I've broken it. <laughs> no. It says he's in the pit lane. Oh, here we go. Uh, I, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so, yeah, he just... Uh, we were in super speed for a bit there, but yeah, just uh, went a little bit, got a little bit too aggressive. Okay, whew. oh, that was a relief. Oh, Ricardo Navone got a stop and go penalty. And also probably disqualification. Wait. The group as well. Oh, oh, Toby Howard coming back on. Oh, demolishing oh. Mike Magus. Oh no, that was a terrible rejoin. So if we look at Toby Howard. Oh, just 
That was admin. not good. Oh man, he's gonna get a firm reprimand for that at least. Oh he's no. Get the belt. What happened? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> That's the only reason I watch these races to see who gets the belt. Duh. Mike Magus. So it looks like Mike still got. Not mega hurt by that, but that is definitely the end of his race for. Come so for far and got, got so hard. hard. <laughs> got so long. <laughs> I tried so end. far. <laughs> it got so hard. <laughs> Jeez. Welcome to ESR, your leading source of racing content. Exactly. You're. you're uh, come here first for quality content and uh, and and intense racing action with no sideshows or distractions. No, always on point. Okay, so with that, our race is again. ending. We have Christopher Strippen finishing in first place, followed. Actually, I'll let you do it. You 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 talk. I don't want to. Okay. Okay, that was a mistake. Offer Strepin in first place, okay, followed go. by Rick Lafone, surprisingly. Although, I'm confused as to what went on uh, because... We have Max Simons in third place. Okay. I don't know what's on here. I hear an echo. Echo? Is it, is I'm it, getting the echo. Are you getting your echo? I'm hearing myself again. Okay, well, then then I'll, I'll do it. Um, Ricardo Navone in second place, which is a little bit concerning because he failed to make his pit stop, so I wonder if that's a glitch or a modification of the rules. I noticed both him and Doug DeGroat got 30-second penalties instead. Um, wait. What happened here? Something is wrong. This isn't the... Oh, this, oh, this is the practice. We don't get to see the race results. No, you can't just go to race. I, I'm clicking Up on it. Top. It's not doing anything. Oh, no. Uh, okay. I guess it gave us like 13 milliseconds. Well. R.I.P. Rip. Anyhow. That, yeah, th those results are not correct, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't know what happened there, but this is a great... This is a great broadcast. We are we're doing <laughs> we're on point. We are freaking on point, Matt. Wow, if we don't get promoted for this, I am going to cry. Well, I want to cry anyway, but um it anyway, in any case, it did look like Ricardo Navone and Doug DeGroat got penalized for not taking the pit, but it looked like they only got 30 second penalties as opposed to or 30 second stop and goes as opposed to um the usual dis the usual DQ black flag. Um, yeah, usually you get DQs. Yeah, so that's a little bit strange. Um, any case, we do have some championship standings to catch up on a little bit. If I can grab those. Um, oh, what are we watching here? Okay. Uh, but yeah, it was a good race. Uh, we had quite a few interesting battles happening. Um, oh, I was really unfortunate at the end with Mike Magus there, just because, uh, well, I mean, you know, sometimes you gotta be a little careful. I wonder if Toby Howard might have, um, might have, uh, gotten a little bit squirrely on corner exit there. In any case, so that was, that's around eight. Wow. Surprising. Hmm, the host is doing something else right now. Apologies. Well, there's nothing going on anyway. So, in our current season... Why, why did it go to this box? Man. This is a quality broadcast. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> we have, um... So that was round eight at Spa. Currently, in our, our points leader... Uh... Pre this race, Marie Iwanchuk is in first with 272 points, followed by Mike Stoppel, who left a few races ago to do more fun things, I guess, is uh, in second. He's more important than us. He's in esports now. Yeah, well, well, hope he never forgets where he came from. 
Um, any case, Christopher Strippen in third with 209. Wesley Stokes closely behind with 199. Johnny Young, who we saw had quite a tumultuous race today, back and forth and back and forth, with 184. Ricardo Navone afterwards in sixth. Andrew Anderson in seventh. Um, Wayne Hutchison right behind, only two points behind Andrew <coughs> in eighth. John Peach in ninth. John Barker, tenth. James Butler, 11th, Max Simmons, 12th, Car Heroes, 13th, Javier Perez Torres, 14th, Richard Higgs in 15th. We haven't seen him for, was he in the no. last race? No. No, he wasn't. He doesn't race usually because he works on the weekends. And now we're getting into some more unfamiliar names. Spencer Samius, Travis Wallace, Tobias Howard, Jack Simpson. I'm surprised to see Jack here, although it kind of makes sense. He is kind of a newer entrant. Kaspari Zagamanis in 20th, Eric Kleina, uh, 21st, Zach Hemstrom, 22nd. Eric Klein. Is that Klein? Okay, Eric Klein. Mike Magus in 23rd, uh, tied with Dragon Versalco, um, Adele Fukale, Stephen Cross in 26th, Vinnie Roberts, 27th, Azar Almuri, 28th, Edward Gonzalez, 29th, and Brasse Van Karusen. Kau Krausen, my apologies, in 29th also. So that's uh, that's that. <laughs> Michael Magus says, I am not a happy camper. I can imagine that would, did not look fun. I imagine he'll be having a conversation with Tobias Howard after that. For our team standings, Virtual Apex, the team of Wesley Stokes, Christopher Strepin, and D uh, Demetrius Simeonitis as are leading with 391 points. Second is Boca Alupo with the Maria Iwanchuk, Market Crash 16, and Mar Eric Klein with 325. And third is Bali, 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 Holy Bollywood. Bollywood Ballast, apparently, is not Body Pillow Ballast. With Javi <laughs> P and Wayne Hutchinson <laughs> with 180 points. Followed very closely by Cosmo Motorsports with Tobias Howard and John Picha with 178. And then finally in fifth, there's Nine Shitsa Autosport, Stephen Cross, Mike Magus, and Kaspari Zigamanis with 147. Quite an interesting race. We had some chaos going on, but it ended up being fun, I think. Any uh, closing words, Mr. Matt, Roberto? I Higgs? think that was a great race. And we were on point the whole time. Oh, absolutely. 100%. 10 out of 10. That's 10 blown diffusers out of 10 broadcast. This oh, yes, has been 100%. This has been Cole, McMichael, Mick McRae, and Matt Higgs. It's Julio McRae, actually. Julio, right. So how could I forget? Got to get that quality in there. Exactly. Anyhow, I hope to see you next time. In round nine, where we are at, what was it? It was at uh, Silverstone. So we'll have an hour race there. Look forward I to see you there. I am not a huge fan, but it could be worse. Anyhow, look forward to seeing you there. This is us signing off. <laughs>